Begin by using a prying tool to remove all three clips located in the trunk of the vehicle. After you have removed all three clips, pull the trunk carpet back. Remove this nut by sticking an Allen wrench into the rod and using a ratchet wrench to loosen the nut. You may have to spray lubricating oil on it if the nut is not coming loose. Loosen the lug nuts for your tires using a breaker bar. Raise the rear end of your vehicle by using a jack. Once the vehicle is raised, place jack stands under the jack points. Remove the lug nuts which you have already loosened. Take off your tire. Place the tires under the side skirts of the vehicle for extra precaution. Lower the vehicle onto the jack stands using the jack. Place the jack under the rear shock and jack it up to relieve the tension of the shock. Unscrew both of these bolts using a wrench or a drill. Remove the washer and the rear padding in the trunk of the car. Remove your used shock from the vehicle. Install your new shock into place. Put the two bolts you previously removed back in using a wrench to tighten both of them. Put the rubber padding, washer, and nut back onto the rod. Use an Allen wrench and a ratchet wrench again to tighten the nut. Put the carpet back and use a mallet to hammer in all three clips back into place.
put your tire back onto the car. Put the lug nuts back into the wheel and tighten them. Repeat this entire process on the other side of the car in order to replace the other rear shock. Remove the jack stands and lower the car back down. 